all right hello guys welcome to my channel today we will be into the kitchen and we are with Rohan Ya Israel. Shalom family. So what is it that you're going to share with us today? Alright, so let me just start it off. Welcome to I Am Head Corner Meal Plan. It's not a restaurant, it is a meal plan. And here we do all natural food. And let me show you something quick. Mm -hmm. You know when you go to the market and you would refuse these plantings, guess what happened? A lot of potassium are in them. And today we are preparing a special dish. It is um, planting, ripe planting, and saltfish. So we just in the prep. Yes, me the one to know if you see the skin. Yes. Just to let you know and say, look here, it's good. They're not rotten. You can have a look. All right. So it's ripe planting. So the, the skin is right there. You were showing us earlier, guys. And the plantain. So yes, a ripe plantain and um, saltfish. And saltfish. So guys, this is going to be a very interesting meal. So we can't wait to see the finished product. All right. Yeah, man. Because me love chat Jamaican. Me raise a bar like no other nation. This are the time for we all get wiser. Jamaica to the world, and may we start work hard. We arise, we are pray in a this lovely place. Get rid of bad mind and learn with lesson. Lady Tanya, Queen of YouTube, everything me do in the end it gets better. Yeah, it a go better. Yeah, chat Jamaican with Tanya. All right, guys, so the saltfish is on the fire. It's boiling currently. So we're going to have the ripe plantain and the saltfish. Yes, and we also went ahead and we prepared some, um, some ackee, you know, the traditional. Oh, ackee. Yes. yes. So what you do, boil the ackee? Yeah, we boil the ackee, but we don't boil it too long, we get it too soft. We yes. Just want it just right. Yes. And we use, with our oils, all we use is um, olive oil mm -hmm. um, for our sweetener. If we add in sweetener to anything, whether it be with beverage yes. or a salad, we use our liquid sugar. Okay. I'll show you what I'm going on here. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have our liquid sugar here. Yes. And our own one of our package here, we have our turmeric. Oh, so you um, make and package those on your own? Yes. So we package these. Yes. So, so it's the, the cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. And turmeric. And turmeric, yes. And we have our herbal tea. So you're going to get some of that later. Oh, okay. Alright, so for now we are using the simple natural coconut, coconut oil. Coconut oil. It's just because of the cistern. She, we never get to get that coconut oil today, you know, but she makes it originally here in Jamaica. As a fact, she gives me the shell, I turn the shell into coconut, uh, into um, coconut charcoal. Oh. You buy it, mm -hmm. and you get better. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we don't waste Wonderful. Alright. Currently, you're crushing the plants in. Yeah, I'm cut them, I'm gonna crush. So you cut them first. Mm -hmm. Then I'll we'll crush them. Alright, what we're going to do with this, we're going to boil them, not for too long. Mm -hmm. You know, just to get them. Alright, so you say you cut the plant in first. Yeah, well, we cut them, so we're not going to crush them right now. Mm -hmm. After we give it a boil, mm -hmm. about like a 10 minutes boil it so long, we crush it, but we don't want it too soft. Oh, okay. You want that nice texture when yeah. you're enjoying it mm -hmm. with your saltfish. Alright, okay. and another secret too. Whenever you're doing saltfish and you want to get out the salt, quick, quick, just put a little sugar in it. The only sugar we use here is the liquid sugar. The liquid sugar is not in the powder form because it's when it's in the powder form, mm -hmm. it's dangerous to you. So I'm just going to tip. So you say so you just tip a little bit of sugar. Sugar in the water when it boils. Mm -hmm. When you feel And you make that sugar as well? I, a the friend of mine. He's the one who does the processing. Okay. I and, purchase and, and I do the packaging. Okay. Just a little bit of the sugar you want. Mm -hmm. In no time, when you taste it, you can also sell saltfish. So we will be adding. So the salt will be out. Yes. So what we will be adding our own salt, which is the pink Himalayan salt. Yeah. So we will come with nutrients. A lot of people might say nutrients 
value unit is not that high, but it's better than the table saw that has 15 deadly chemicals. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we just have to pay a pot, we just find a pot hunt. <laughs> Alright, let me tell you, me not really mean up my tomato, you know, me just love when people bite seasoning, you understand? Yes. Seasoning forget bite. Oh, look here, so we have some whole wheat dumpling here. Sister Angela need it for it. Okay. Yeah, man. So we just have to up there, season and stuff. So, you know, Jamaican season, I always use with scallion, with thyme, with onion. Mm -hmm. And I use this season a lot in the powder form. Um, the pimento and the cumin yes. it gives the food a nice flavor, especially your fish. A lot of people who like to pay for the Shabbat and they want some fish, just put some cumin on that and okay. season it. Mm -hmm. And it's the best taste. That's how you got, Sister Angela. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> and when you use that coconut oil. My goodness, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Alright, and when we're cooking, we just use a little oil because the main thing we use to add um, that thing that you would want as gravy, we don't give you a gravy, we give you a coconut milk. You hear the word of it? Grave? Mm -hmm. You know, like that. So anytime you get another thing, it's like a nice little rundown. Yeah. Swimming in coconut um, milk, not the oil. Just a little oil to saute. You know, that's one of the bad things that we are doing. And all these people out here that is using vegetable oil and corn oil. Yes. Stop. When the vegetable oil came on the market in about in the 70s, heart attack in America alone increased to about 50%. So these things are not natural. So you have to stop them when you have natural. You don't let nobody trick you and tell us that the stuff that comes from nature, something do it. Something might do their mind, but in that, the most I heard of them food. Yes. Alright, so now we're going to do the aki and salvage and we're going to do the what we're going to do on salvage sister Tanya? Planting. Planting. <laughs> Planting and salvage guys. Planting and salvage. As we say, when we eat tomato, we're supposed to bite it. So what we do here now is we cook our food every day for ourselves. Yes. So what you're coming to eat is not no restaurant food. Mm -hmm. You're coming to eat what Brother Ron, Sister Angela and Brother Rose is having today. Okay. So because we know that you are royals and you're kings and queens, we can't go to no fast food. Yes. We can't go to no bad eye. You understand? Our water that we use, most of the water we use to prepare in our herbs and stuff and cooking sometimes is spring water and the water that we use from the main mm -hmm. it is properly filtered oh, okay. because we you know that on our levels of the society we are not really be cared, being cared for the way we should be so now when I come to the knowledge I understand that Sister Tanya is a queen we can play with our food. <laughs> you understand? Yes, yes. Nice. So we're just going to saute this. Mm -hmm. um, so these are the preferred size for you. Yeah, for me. And anyhow you want it, you can get it. There is a standard. And you know what the standard is? The way you love it. <laughs> oh, so when people come to you or the customers, they would tell you how they want the food and you will prepare it yes. for them that way. Yes, yeah, so we have done to order. So what you can do, I'm going to give you the WhatsApp number. You can put it on the screen if I remember it, I'll mention it. Okay. What you do, with, what you do is WhatsApp in your order. Mm -hmm. All right, so you go on Facebook. <clears throat> Sorry, you go on Facebook or you go on um, Instagram and you search uh, I am Health Corner Meal Plan. We are in Mandeville. And if you want to challenge me to send your food come to Kingston, try it. <laughs> <laughs> so you will prepare and if the you meal. want us to come to Kingston for your events or so, mm -hmm. we are ready to go. Are what ready? about going to somebody home to cook for them? Yes ma'am, we do that too much. Oh, okay. So just let us know. Shalom, good day my brother. I will be with you in a minute. You know, see me in the you know, Pantania channel. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute, sir. <laughs> Alright, so we also operate an internet cafe here. So as I said, this is not a restaurant. This is us preparing food for ourselves. 
And if you want our assistance to give you a healthy meal on a daily basis, you yes. can contact us. And most of the food, we don't use oil, you know. Most of the food, you can steam it for you with our fish and all of these things. Okay. And welcome, so my dear and brother was there with me today. Okay. Um, so now brother was, as I come in, just introduce herself and put her eye on it. Uh oh, brother was not using her for so, eye. So this so is brother Rose. Here. Shalom family. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, so we are going to make brother Rose like the father. Now Angela, should we make him put oil in the box? <laughs> no! <laughs> Aloe oil, we love it. Yeah. Right, good for the heart. <laughs> yeah, man. I know. Today we are using the coconut oil, though. but here we go. Brother Rose love the oil, you know, which is good for him. Mm -hmm. But we turn off the um, sawfish pot now, and then let us drop in. Just like this, I need to put the oil. Oh, oh. <laughs> and so let's break up the coconut oil. Instead of using the sharp knife. Mm -hmm. um, some people are using spoon, but um, a table knife. Alright, it's very, very good. You're gonna see how easy you got you with the table knife. Look here. Oh, yeah, get out the coconut quickly. Like, quick. So, mm -hmm. so you know, sit down and not worry about um, getting it out. And if it slips, mm -hmm. you won't cut yourself. See how easy? Yes, yes. So, this is the coconut, the dry coconut. Alright, so um, usually we have these things prepared from I mean, even the night before. Mm -hmm. But just because um, Sister Tanya is here and all the Jamaicans them with the overseas and all the people that are interested in Jamaican cuisine, yes. you know, to just be excited and say, Oh, I'm going back to that. Yeah. You know, then just get rid of the bag of powder for powder, powder thing. Yes, mm -hmm. all natural. All natural. So we have to wash the coconut and cut it up and we have to drop it right into the blender and you see that bottle of water you see the other five gallon bottle yes pure spring water okay come on put it away all right um hey shalom good morning you get to see me sister you can come um so we do mm -hmm. cut off your coconut so it's not too rough yes. on your blender you understand you need your coconut to blend up well, so you don't really want a big chunk, but you don't have to do it too small either. So the average blender, you don't need to come more than three cups of water mm -hmm. and two handful of whatever you're blending. Yes. And they don't want to um, pull up your blender too much where it overflows. Oh, okay. All right. So when I say two hands full, it's simple like this: one, two, two. and you blend it. Like mm -hmm. two to three cups of water, and that's your food ready to. Alright, so we are about to just pour a little of the water, sorry, alright? Mm -hmm. so, you don't need too much. I remember we're going to use the coconut um, milk yes. to really give you that tiny tiny. Alright? Oh, you want to cut up some more? I'm going to cut up nice. Sister Angela, so let me take your job just for today. Okay. Just for today. Okay. So look at that smell over there. Woo! And it smells nice, guys. It smells really good. I need to burn my season in it. But look how low my fire is. Mm -hmm. You can turn it up a little bit, but not a little bit. We're good to go. Oh, I'm watch out. I don't want to jump off. <laughs> I don't want to see later. It's not fast until 12 noon. No food, we didn't have a belly till then. <laughs> Alright, so we can just let this stay like a few, like a minute. And that very low stove. Then you can catch me over here, so this is that. And so you can get the cover for the blender, please. So make sure your blender turn off before you plug it in. And even though it appears to be off, mm -hmm. do what we always do. Family, do what we do. Cover it first. Because you know things might malfunction. So in the yeah, in the blender you have this natural spring water. Alright. So see that plug it in, it's safe. Mm -hmm. But just in case something happens like this, you miss it. Yes. Safety first. Alright. 
So now what I do, I, why you see my blender looks like we use a lot of turmeric. Oh. You understand? To change the color, we get back this color now. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do with my blender is this. Get it going. Remember, so we do have the salt fish and we have the um, planting. So, I'm going to do now, and I'm going to break up the salt fish with me, and then I'm going to put in the, the planting and the salt, put in the salt fish first, cook it down a little more, uh -huh. and then we add the planting after. Okay. So you see the salt fish? I get it too. Nice. What should we do now, Sister Tana? You see, because the pots then we do so many, so much cooking sometimes. Mm -hmm. We just get a jug here. So I have my funnel mm -hmm. and I have my strainer, yeah. And what we do now, some people call this the trash. That's trash, you don't call food trash. So stop calling food trash. So what you do with the meat of the coconut, right? You are going to put it down and you can freeze it and you can put it right in a beer boat at the very same moment, all right? Mm -hmm. So brother, we give me some spring water, please. And I'm going to tell you what we did with us really to that. We know what you're talking about. Bring it to three cup, you hear me, bro? Alright. And we're good to go. Alright, so we have a thing of salt here. We know it's supposed to be ready. Um, so as, look at it. And then no burn. Family, look at this. It no burn. Mm -hmm. Low. I better you run it for five minutes, man, low. Than for do it high. No, to the people who want to do it high and quick because they have a lot of order. Just do your thing, but don't burn it, alright? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Because it's good to cook in a but you know how to cook out some of the good good way they have the food, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, treat up that a little bit. So remember, so we say we have to go at it, right? Yeah. So just because we want the pan fire, we will share this up now. So we got up into the Akian Zalfish and we got to be with the plantings. So now, when you go to places and then I give an Akian Zalfish. So now, this is going to be for the Aki and this is going to be for the planting. So when you go to places and you add Akian Zalfish and you have to search the Zalfish, just, just alone and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to strain this ackee you now. Alright, the salt is already, so we just turn out the fire for now. So, so the ackee, it never soak too long and gets soggy. Yeah. You understand? Look at them. Still have the texture. Mm -hmm. Alright? Nice. Put this one side, now put it back in the pot. Mm -hmm. Alright, um. So look at my strainer. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! So, can't you it in there now? Good to go, my family. Good to go. So we're gonna put in the aquilas, some salt and we're good to go. Alright, Auntie, you know what I'm saying? So now we're talking about the salt fish. Yes. So here we are going now. Auntie, I'm going to a little bit of salt fish. So uh. you know, say so one thing we're going to do then. Because we have to stick to the word, right? Yes. So we are going to put on some more sandwich because guess what we say? The food that you eat here is the food that we eat. Mm -hmm. Alright? So we now going to lick a sandwich. So this can serve for about three people. Because we love when people eat whole heap of sandwich. Yes. And come top out with it. Alright? So we have a couple pounds of sandwich. So we are going to have it ready in a few. Alright, so you're going to see what we do 
to get things going. So remember, when you boil the sausage, you know, mm -hmm. it means that the sausage is already cooked. All right? When you boil the sausage, it means it's already what? Cooked. Cooked. Oh, that's the coconut milk. That's the coconut milk. All right? And you know, see, so we drop no seeds in the next bit, you know. So have a look at your planting. Oh, so you boil the planting. Mm -hmm. The real ripe one. Mm -hmm. Brother Rosie, that's a prophet. They don't have the like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave this about um, 8 to 10 minutes. And a very, no, this is a commercial store. Mm -hmm. So my medium would be high for the regular one. So I would put it on a real low. Okay. Real low. So look at it now. Soft. And you just mm -hmm. continue to crush crushing like this. See? It's not yeah. difficult to crush. And then now because we add the little sugar, guess what happened now? No? The salt, the salt fish now have no salt, none at all. Yes. Salt fish have no salt, none at all. And see, because people always talk about the food, say, boy, brother, run the gravy nice. I say, it's not gravy, it's lively. Uh, <laughs> it's not gravy, it's but it's lively. Oh. Yeah. Not lychee, but don't lychee. Lively. Lively. <laughs> lively. All right. So we have this going on. So now, bear in mind, we serve children. So this is the pink Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the pink Himalayan salt. We just put in a little in it. All right. You know, Jamaica, so they say, in a major it. I do it all the time. Yes. All right. So now we are adding back the savor, the little flavor to the food, right? Mm -hmm. Um, the I would add cayenne pepper, but just because I know that my daughters might come out, I know that Kelly she loves cayenne pepper. Mariam now she know her not with pepper. Mm -hmm. Sister Lee she can add her cayenne pepper after. So look at this. Look at the texture. How rich. So you see the texture how it's rich? Yes. Rich texture. Alright? Hmm. So the, the planting crush out. Mm -hmm. How long are you going to um, simmer this down for? About like for uh, 8 to 10 minutes. Not even so long. But because me ready to go dash on my whole wheat dumpling. Yes. And me and brother was going to get some pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And we get some um, yam in a day. Mark, did you get it yesterday, right? Yes. So, Sister Winters are coming. Sister Winters is coming out of her garden with all organic food. Alright, so look at where. Yes, the Aki. Aki, so we have to take it out of the water because what we are going to write away when we're going to do something called an emergency cook. <laughs> you know what is an emergency cook? No, what is it? You, you bring the pot to more quarter. That's how we use this big pot. We bring it up to more quarter. And we buck this to over and drop the, the salt fish in it. <laughs> <laughs> Ready quick! Okay. Because Tanya is not supposed to get one dish. She has to get both two dishes. <laughs> yes, and salt fish and planting and salt fish. Right? Yes, yes. So, see you in a minute. Barakata, we will bless all you. So guys, I do hope that you're enjoying what is happening right now in the kitchen and you're loving the food, what you see. Just as how you see it, it smells so good. So guys, please watch the entire video and thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and I will always be available to give you more interesting videos. So what you have for me now? Alright, so we are showing you what we're doing here with the coconut meat, not the trash. <laughs> so guys, this is the coconut meat. Not the trash. Not trash. Alright, some people even dry this and um, run it through a mill and you have coconut flour. All oh. right. I'm going to show you this briefly. Tie it up like this. You can put this in your um, wheat flour or you can use your oatmeal flour like when you're baking. Mm -hmm. we, do, we use oatmeal flour when we're baking, we put it on stuff. And if you want to call we prepare one for you, we'll do that also. Okay. So this is it going right into the standing freezer. Alright, let's going to get my hand wash off from the meat and then we're heading on to the whole wheat dumpling meat. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
my two little brother was here with the prepare um, the salad. And brother was going to tell him about this tom tom tomato here, where they come from, to everything, yeah. This, come, this tomato come from Prophet Backyard. <laughs> Prophet <laughs> Backyard? Prophet Backyard, and they're sweet, you know. Don't ignore these, these are very delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so now as Brother Rose just mentioned that I'm a prophet, let me explain to you before they get confused <laughs> and all the red light them go. <laughs> Alright, prophets are people who just declare the word of the Mosai, tell you to repent and show you the word and make it more clear unto you. Now, these guys you see that lining you up for money. Thousand dollar for this, thousand dollar for that. Mm -hmm. God say, ha, bring your mortgage money, come out. <laughs> these are not pro or fits. Probably is the F I T, right? Yes. Yeah, but really and truly, people, the word of the prophet is simply repent and keep the commandments of the Most High. That's it. Done. Okay. Okay, prophet. <laughs> <laughs> So you said these are from your backyard, backyard. look like cherries. Cherry yeah. tomato. Sweet. They have a lot of sugar growing on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so while coffee for us are dealing with that, we need to find this. Hey, Auntie, you know how you do the dumpling them with the like when you got it so big like mine. Yeah, so we are gonna do the this. Alright, the water over here, it's boiling, so you don't Put in the dumpling until the water starts, right? Mm -hmm. See here, look at this. Dumpling right away. So look at the method again. Squeeze it in your hand. Squeeze it up. And you just press it out. 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 Alright, I want to kind of flat it so. Look at it again. <laughs> <laughs> and you know as we are up on the time. It is now um, 25 minutes to the hour of 12. And my little daughter, she's at school. Mm -hmm. So guess what happened? So she gets her meal every day fresh. Yeah. She not get no food from the yard in the morning where you have to go hot up. Or microwave. Oh, so you deliver her lunch? Yeah, deliver her lunch. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I can tell you the last person to so now when you prepare the meal, you're going to bring hers to her? Right to her. And if you want to come with me too, if they allow me, no problem. Alright, so brother was, um, you know, me and really the dumpling man. Brother was like the yam and them something. Yeah man. Last night, brother was cooked some, what is that name again, what kind of fish? Slice fish. Some slice fish, slice fish. Nice <laughs> and it's kosher, my people. It has scale on it. Mm -hmm. Make sure to eat the clean fish. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me explain to you now, family. See, all the food, that the most I tell you to eat in Leviticus 11 and not to eat, it is very practical. Let me explain to you. The research has shown, but we don't really like that word there, you know, because people will just be obedient. You don't need no research to obey. Mommy said, do this or do that, nobody yes. tell you about your research. But, anyways, research has shown that all these food that oh, you okay. not to eat yes. makes the body acidic. I guess what I'm not, they're nice too, but mm. they're not good for you. Yeah. Yes. You know, before I came to the church, we used to eat pork and all them something there. But all glory to the king, when me born again of the instruction, I became a new man. I'm going to tell about illnesses in the body. Diabetes, but something again. Um, asthma. We could even run up this step. That's what I realized. When we change my diet, Okay. It's a whole new game. Mm. Right, so let us drop in some dumpling. Uh, I don't see the clock cover, but Ooh, I did it. Hot. So we are dropping with dumpling. Auntie, you want to cut up the yam for us, please? So see, this is metal. So look at my rest right here, so. Mm -hmm. And do the rest, you know? If you don't have to stand in the heat, you don't have to, but I do have to meet today. Huh? So you don't like the heat, stay out of the kitchen. kitchen. Yes. So we have some sweet potato. Auntie has some sweet potato and yam and some there. Wow! Don't you have that again, Auntie? The yellow yam? No, 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 no. no. It's not white. That's white yam. White yam? Yeah, white yam. Where you get this yam? Um, you know, I was uptown yesterday. And we stop in that traffic. Mm -hmm. And we say, I'm going to jump out of the vehicle. 
And brother was one driver, we just grab some. Yeah, okay. Oh yes, I did pay it though. <laughs> Let us grab it. Alright, so what we're on to next now, I'm going to turn off this stove that we had running with the sawfish. Alright, because I believe <laughs> that it's ready now. So we're going to make sure some wooly for sawfish. Then, you know, we aki and sawfish. Alright, let's go. I'm going to throw this in at some else. So guys, I do hope that you're enjoying the meal plan for today. We have planting and saltfish and also aki and saltfish. This is what the coconut, coconut water, coconut, Co milk. coconut milk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like, it's yeah. milk. I'm saying, I don't know yeah. water come from out of my mouth. Yes. Okay. So what you can do with this family is, I suppose they are polybags. You can share this in about two portions. Mm -hmm. I have three portions and freeze it. And what you do when you're cooking down your food, you just rip off the plastic and drop it in the pan. Okay. And then you have your all natural coconut, coconut milk. milk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. And uh, so we have the turmeric. It already look nice already now, but we're gonna add a little turmeric to our uh, um aki when we're cooking it down. Alright? And turmeric is really good for you. Turmeric? Yeah, turmeric is really good. So what is it that you're doing here now? I'm preparing the salad. So it's you know, tomatoes. What is that? What's the name? Cherry of tomato, we call it. Oh, so cherry tomato. Yeah, it's sweet like sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. What else you have in there? I may have um, cucumber. I may have some um, pepper. And uh, we're going to put some beetroot in there too. A little onion, you know. And then the lettuce. Okay, so this is the beetroot, guys. Mm -hmm. Lettuce and onion. Alright, so now this is a plastic metal thing. So we're just about fishing with the rest of the saltfish. So I want a saltfish going here. Aki and saltfish. Only for us. Only for saltfish. No, it's not alive. I'm a jerk. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, I'm going to do this stripping of this one because Auntie I do the cut, um, cut up. Cut up, yeah. yeah. So we have to use with some and share the work. So Auntie did some yam, <laughs> white yam, and now she's on the potato. Is this a sweet potato? Yes, it is. They look white, so too. Yeah, man, you have some of them that come out real white and you have some that come out really yellow. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. used to the yellow potato. I even saw the one where the outside of it was white. Oh. Okay. When I saw it, I said, oh, no, that's different. Alright, mm -hmm. so what we're going to do, when it's soon time to eat, we add a little more mm -hmm. coconut milk mm -hmm. and warm it up. Oh, okay. Alright. So now, Brother Rose is dealing with the vegetables. So just because men don't want to deal with the meat, the flesh we are dealing with the vegetable because you have people that are vegetarian and yeah. don't want nothing to do no with the meat flesh. near there yeah so we just left on this side of the prep table alright so now we boil to get the salt the excess salt out of the um, salt fish it is codfish mm -hmm. basically it's codfish and they what they do with the codfish is add salt to it as a natural preservative because okay. you can smoke something or you can add salt to it you know as the scripture, scripture said, the wise man, the wise man will roast when he goes hunting. The lazy man, he do the hunting and just left the meat. Mm -hmm. So when he left the meat, so what will happen to it, brother Ross? Catch me, I try to catch up. Yeah, man, that would seal up. <laughs> All right. So now, um, this is normally like a daughter dish, so we can't give her too much, because they'll go for it. Yeah. So we're just going to take the selfish things. So what I do, I just strip, strip off the scale of the saltfish mm -hmm. I'm just going to break it up in this break it up because when you're going to do the saltfish you're going to break it up all right so now you have some people who get the codfish without 
the bones in it. All right? Yes. You can get that also. So basically, the saltfish is the codfish. It's not this ugly thing. We look like alien when you see them have a telescope. You ever see saltfish head yet? <laughs> so don't be naive. Don't follow some people. Don't I remember when I was young and they used to tell me these things, it never made no sense. But in some places um, in the US, mm -hmm. you won't see the head of the fish. Have some people eating fish their whole life and they never see the fish head. Yes. Yeah. So just like you go to some places, them just sell fish head. Because the country that they sell the fish to, do not want the fish head. So you sell it to some people and when they look, they make a fish head, um, fish tail type. You know, some people that say fish soup. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's it. You just eat what is clean and full joy, and you're good to go. So this is our sawfish here, looking lovely. That's so I go and break it up more and more. Yes. Yeah, because even though we love your bite chunks of stuff, we still not really want you to have too much to chew on. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so we just break it up this like these big piece with them bone here. Let's take them out. The rest of them you just eat and eat with caution. Yeah. Alright, so now this is let me Oh you yeah, boil the potato with the skin. Yeah. So boiling the potato with the skin is good for the whole heap of nutrients. So alright. Um, some people might not like it that way, not in the wrong way. Just call and say, what do you want no skin for me? <laughs> you understand? Yes. How we deal with it for you? And if you want it with the skin, no problem. We get it the same way. Alright, so when we serve your food, it can be for you and your auntie and your friend and everybody. Because we don't serve a little bit of food, especially when you large. Oh, right? Okay. Alright, so this is the year white yam. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm um, just going to cut a few again. Um, don't have to cut all of them like that because wow, they tend to break, right? Okay. So what we put in first is the dumpling. Because the dumpling is usually what takes the longest to cook. Okay. So these will be ready in a lot of These will be ready. Don't want to play out anymore. These will be ready in a bowl. 20 minutes. Yeah. And from here, look what I'm already now. The dumpling are float already. Wow. Okay. You know, when it's a dumpling are float, it means say what? Cook. Cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so make it stay. We're going to give it another um, 15 to 20 minutes. Yes. And we're going to do Well, just because it's the sake of time, mm -hmm. I'm going to put my fire uh, high. All right? Mm -hmm. Now we use a lot of water. Oops. And because we use a lot of water, it's not going to burn up. So this one fly out of the pot. Me now. Sorry, we're going to miss you. So you're going to the Aki now? Yeah. So as we continue. Alright, drop this stuff on low. Remember we just do something to saute it. Yeah, sorry. The olive oil, not the olive oil, the coconut oil just to saute it, alright? Yeah. So we just want to add a little more. You know, matter of fact, we don't add no more oil. Don't make add to it. Tell me make add to it. Olive oil? Oh, the coconut. Coconut. Milk. Oh. Milk. That's it. Wow. So it just going to put down a little. And then we add it over. Over what we're going to add next. Aki. So now bear this in mind. Your aki already cooked. Your saltfish already cooked because you're boiling. All you're doing, you're just going to bring them together as one. Where them just come in and then the aki you know, boil up and mash out and all them something there. So you can put this so we'll put it on medium and give it about three minutes. No more than three minutes. And then you just drop in your aki. I'm going to have a secret ingredient so I'm going to drop in the kiame for the same. Kiame for the same! Woo! 
Alright, so now the secret ingredient is why we are so different. Alright? Just a little hint, it's a little bit of 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 a little we different, we different. Alright, so we're going two and a half minutes. Alright, now remember, take out the salt so we are add back the right salt. We give it the right taste. The and pink the, salt. Ah, the pink Hamadian salt. And if you have the black salt, use it. And if you have real sea salt, man, that's about Chinese knockout salt. No. Wow. It's gonna be nice, man. So now because we don't want nothing to dry out, what we say we are going to do? Add a little more of this. So when we cook with the coconut uh, milk in our family, we don't hold back. Yes. We don't hold back. So we give this about three minutes because it's already what? Cook. Mm -hmm. When you boil it, it is already cooked. You're just allowing everything to just come together as one. Alright? And now, remember we did this earlier, so we have to add back. Look at it, it's still, see so much juice still under it? Mm -hmm. Still juicy and nice. But because me don't like hold back, I'm going to put a little more fire on it. Yeah. Add a little more milk, and then your food ready to serve in about 15 minutes. Okay. And then she complain about the difference of the year, but then she can come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome anytime, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now Tanya, I'm going to show you something which I know this has to be continued because my wife is a better cook than me, brother Rose is a better cook than me, sister Angela is a better cook than me. Me just do my thing, what I love to do, and they love it. I don't know what they say behind me. Yes. Yeah. Am I a good cook, brother Rose, in the past? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now, here on the stove, I'm going to make a metal pot. You can rest it, but please, I will find somewhere for rest the thing. Right? Mm -hmm. Wear apron, don't fall up, brother. Rose is my pro chef, so now wear apron. Me, 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 can look at that mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> brother Rose, tell me about when you're in America, you said you were a short and cook. Tell us something about it now. Oh, uh, brother Rose is from America. Jamaica, I grew up in America. <laughs> you grew up overseas? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, what has motivated you to come back to Jamaica? I love the island, I love the people. <laughs> yes. You know and you really can't throw away Jamaica because we know um, how we grow. And we don't grow with spoon spoon in our mouth. Yes. But we just, you know, just love the place. You know, like America now would say them love for them place, but you know, just like we're born here, yes. and we're born here, and we grow here. So we just love the place. You understand? I don't understand how some people just migrate to America and then don't want to come back. Yeah. I remember them. They must say too much murder there. Well, murder the America too. Yes, I'm <laughs> It just happened that in the knock by your door. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, man. And I can't know how you present yourself and keep yourself. You understand? If you show me the company, who you keep me tell you who you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I see the company of me keep so everything alright. And you know something? Too? You have to trust in Yeshua. Yeah? Oh, yeah. If you trust in Yeshua, you protect you. So I come back to Jamaica. Um, I was a truck driver in, in the US for many years. And um, I got I got killed and I just they forced me into retirement. So I just said, okay, I'm not gonna retire America, I'm gonna retire in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. When the money is strong, I'll land back. 
Okay. Uh, so you have to eat doing the beetroot now. Yes. So the beetroot. You can steam this down or let no, it no, no. natural. Eat it natural like, like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know beetroot can't eat naturally. Well, then you know, can't blend it. I know you can't blend it, it and drink it. Okay, so the natural that. No, but eating it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want a little sugar on it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get a little sugar for it. You want sugar for it? <laughs> you don't eat it in a in a big chunk, but in a small chunk. You know, it's, it's terrible. You know oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so sister, you can come over to the present. Um, mommy, we don't know. Look at that. Mm, nice. Woo! See that? Mm-hmm. So this is basically ready, man. It's a saltfish right now for this one. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna play with so it. The ackee saltfish in coconut milk. Yeah. Nice, so we turn this off by the time you look it just simmer down. See we have this get it second like a warm up with some milk and we're mm -hmm. good to go. And guys, this is the plantain saltfish stew. Stew. Uh, Tanya, this is the house wine. We make it here, the sour wine. Oh. It's really, really delicious. Sour wine. Sour wine, yes. Okay. Alright, so we will set the table. Mm -hmm. So, this is the sour wine right here. Alright, so this is your drink. You're going to get a glass of your wine. Oh. oh. And this is our house salad. Salad? Wow. <laughs> and this is my food. Yes. All right, guys. So in my plate, I have the um, sweet potato, the flour. I have the whole wheat flour and the white yam. This is the aki and the saltfish with the coconut run on. Mm -hmm. And right here I have the plantain and the saltfish stew. All right, so I'm going to taste it now. And this is our house dressing for the salad. Okay. <laughs> Fine. So guys, I had a great time today in the kitchen and you would have seen um, the process and the way how the food was prepared but what it is that I'm excited to taste is the plantain with the saltfish stew I'm going to taste it it looks very delicious ensure that I put some saltfish on it and it looks so tasty with the onion mmm This is very delicious guys. This is the ripe plantain, the tomato and the onion, it makes it very tasty as well. Mm. I think you all should try this. I'm going to now try the ackee and the saltfish. You know that the ackee was, the coconut milk was poured into it. So I'm going to taste it to see the flavor that the coconut milk has given it. Mm. It has a it has a very tasty taste. Let me try the aki with the yam because I enjoy eating my aki and saltfish with yam. It is very tasty that way. Yeah, very tasty. Guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish my dish. I'm going to enjoy my salad that I have here. So guys, I'm going to try the salad. Earlier, you would have heard where I said I haven't tried the raw beetroot before. So I'm going to try it now. But it tastes normal. The beetroot tastes normal. 
So I have the beetroot here on the cucumber. Mm -mm. This is good, guys. And the cherry tomato now. Mm -hmm. This is the cherry tomato. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just like the cherry. Lovely food, lovely. Thank you so much. Tanya, how about the wine? You're not gonna taste the wine. Uh, <laughs> you bring the glass, don't give me. Bring... And my drink, what kind of drink is Beet this? Beetroot. Beetroot drink. All natural. Natural beetroot drink. <laughs> it is tasty, guys. <laughs> Homemade wine here. And you sell the wine? Yes, we're going to start going buckling to it. it. You say it's a sorrel wine. It's a sorrel wine. Mm, yes. Yeah. Sorrel wine. It tastes like a real wine, guys. <laughs> it <laughs> is, is real. Good stuff. This is, it is real. This is very tasty. Mm -hmm. This tastes really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So we made the natural wine and we have to say, Sister Tanya, yeah, enjoy it and we don't want to drink too much. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. And we don't want to do it, so. Yeah, man, this is good stuff. It is really nice. So I do hope that you enjoy this video. And looking at the food, the presentation and everything, it is really tasty and a meal plan. So if you want them to prepare a meal plan for you, you can always make a call. The number is here on the screen. You can always call. He is located in Mandeville and he will do the meal plan for you. They do delivery. As he said earlier, if it's even Kingston, you can try him. All right. So guys, I'm going to enjoy this meal. Remember to subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in. I am going to enjoy my meal right now. But before I go, let me just taste the, the wheat flour. The wheat dumpling right here. Is the wheat, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I love it. What I love the most though is the planting and the sawfish stew this is tasty guys this is really good mm -hmm. okay guys thank you for watching church american little more bye